True knowledge evokes wisdom. Wisdom is knowledge in practice. Selective knowledge facilitates error. In spirit is truth. Darshini in spirit will help you find the answers you seek. Darshini sees. Internationally renowned clairvoyant and spiritual guide Darshini has a refreshingly honest and candid style that contributes greatly to her ability to counsel, heal, and guide. Motivational speaker, author, teacher. Experience Darshini in spirit at 714-348-9994. Visit darshini in spirit. So we've taken our next step in this infinite journey of enlightenment. A series of events have taken place that has brought us to where we are right now. This is the most important time of our lives. It's in this very moment which exists prior to a thought that we have the potential to be. Being exists in this moment, in this time, and knowing, seeing, feeling, and experiencing all that there is right now. Stay tuned as Ron Ash teaches how to locate our special gifts, connect the spirit, and intentionally create our experiences. Talk Radio Network, live and local, national and international, on great stations worldwide. For a complete list of our affiliates and show times, please visit mybtrn.com. That's mybtrn.com. This morning, you are being with Ron Ash and Darshini in spirit. Good morning, Darshini. Good morning. How are you doing, Ron? I am excellent. I hope the rest of the world is as well as I am, but uh, I know that not to be true. I have heard many people, and we've talked about this previously on the show, who are suffering a great deal of anxiety and depression during what we have coined as the the awakening. Yeah, and uh, I hate to say it, it's being reflected in the readings I'm doing and even in the classes. um, I don't know about coincidentally, but I've been doing even Face Your Fears class and people are exhibiting all these signs, and it's Mm -hmm. sad because... If you remember, um, I don't know if it came out to the East Coast, but here in the West there were actually two producers. Uh, One is an actor, uh, one was a producer for a long time, I think on NBC4, and uh, they went missing and presumed, you know, suicide or something. Mm -hmm. But I know that one's being caught kind of, in other words, they're just trying to escape, I think. And people, the anxiety level that I'm seeing is really... um, and within myself, just, you know, we are, um, how can I say, we, we are cell-based here. So everything influences everything. And in mm. the book, I described how, why the uh, chapter on energy mm-hmm. is so important because, as you know, I mean, I'm not a physicist, obviously, but basically we're all energy, right? Absolutely, and, yeah. And we mix with everything, and that's how I read is through pure energy. And that's why my readings are kind of totally different. So basically, we are interacting with this change and the shift, uh, which it is a major, major shift. And we, the adjustments is just like, um, you know, I always say about the security blanket. We mm. want to keep ourselves and we don't want, we hate change. Humans hate change. Um, we're kind of creatures of habit. So trying to, um, they're trying to foist away our um, uh, was it, uh, the security blanket and make us into a, a different um, evolved human being on a different mm-hmm. scale with our intuition. So, of course, letting go of even something, um, it's just like having a, you know, if you had somebody, and I would say this in the class, if somebody came around and since you were a baby and hit, slapped you in the head and said, oh, by the way, I love you, you would associate that with love, right? Mm-hmm. Because habit and that's how you associate love so uh, suddenly you grow up and you're whatever 23 and suddenly this person goes away 
and um, you realize that that isn't love, you know, that the hitting, you have to take a, how can I say, a, a step back from it and realize mm -hmm. being abused is not love. So in a way, I know it's a bit weird the way I'm describing it, but basically we have to let go of certain things. So what I'm seeing is, um, and other than there's just the anxiety level, the um, frustration, um, it's just like, not even, it's beyond depression, because depression there is a, a kind of border. Mm -hmm. There's a level of, um, not even frustration, it's like an ache within you that you can't get rid of. Does that make sense to you, Ron? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. So basically, it's actually um, kind of go, going in like a, uh, it's like a wave coming into the shore and going out, it's okay the next day or maybe the day after, but it comes back sometimes more furiously mm -hmm. and more intensely. Now, other than all of that going on, I'm seeing people, uh, and these are my clients, getting involved in weird lawsuits coming out of the blue, accidents, um, which I, you know, all of this was predicted in uh, the YouTubes that I put up uh, about, about three weeks ago since the last show, and it's all called the clarification period. And the clarification period is all to do with, in a way, facing your fears, mm -hmm. uh, but also reviewing your life. And I don't know if you've seen, especially in the last two weeks, uh, that you have been, in a way, faced with certain situations, Ron. I don't know about you, but I, I see one or two. But basically, that you had to change the way you see situations. Is that what you're, would you say, have you gone through any of those situations? Yes, very true, very true, yeah. Okay, so basically this, I hate to say it, um, and this is what you know my clients don't like about me, because <laughs> I'm really honest. Here it comes. Um, I know. Um, you're gonna, it's going to get worse, okay? Mm. Um, and it is, and this was started around about May 12th. Um, it's all there in the, in the three YouTubes there. But basically, it's going to last until July 27th, around about that time, if not about a day or two later, but it would, will improve by the 27th mm -hmm. of July. So projects, things that you want, you're wor really working hard for, and I know you, you're so intense with when you're driven to go into one direction, Ron, um, and it's hard to, you and I are like that. And a lot of people out there um, who have their own businesses are especially are like that because, you know, that's how we survive. Yeah, I'm it's, extremely it's, diligent. Yeah, diligent, but sometimes the <laughs> wave, or should I say the tsunami, is mm -hmm. holding you back, right? It's creating a wall on you. Is that right? Yeah, you know, but I find that if I just kind of take off alone, you know, and get down to the ocean like I did yesterday and just take that, you know, day to just kind of breathe and reflect and things, it, it, it's very uh, helpful. In some cases, this anxiety and depression, does it turn into a physical illness for people? Yes, because what they're doing is they're not letting it go. So instead of, oh, it's easier said than done, I fully realize that. You can't be belief in the wind and or, you know, on the stream and mm -hmm. let it go. But it's sometimes, it is easier to kind of go into it and remember, um, and I said this a long time ago, it will be in the book again, mm -hmm. and that is to do with depression. If it's not a clinical depression, is a good thing. And people don't realize that that um, I know I'll probably get shot for that, but basically it's really to do with um, spirit trying to tell us that they're closing all the avenues. What happens in a depression? You don't want to go out. You don't want to socialize. Yeah. You start staying in. You want to go into a fetal position. Um, and what happens is that literally all the, the roots out of the maze are locked out and you are by yourself. And what happens? You mm -hmm. start thinking about what you really, really want in your life. You start not thinking about on the internet, worrying about the kids, husband, or whatever. Why? It's to do with what do you want. And this is what this basically, um, bottom line is, the clarification period is about. What do you want, Ron? What would really make you happy? Because mm -hmm. you have, just like that old adage going up in the airplane, you know, you've got a baby, you put the oxygen mask on yourself first, 
you yeah. have to survive before the child. Even though instinctually you want to save the baby, you can't. You have to realize that this time is so crucial that you might miss the boat in the way of not seeing the um, real presence and the finite solutions they're trying to give you. So in other words, you can restructure yourself. And I'm not saying, oh, yeah, you know, new body and everything. Well, yeah, if you work out, you can. But it's really to do with the spiritual level and the mental level here. And they're intertwining and they're doing a huge dimensional shift. So you have to realize that if you allow it, get an exercise book, go to the beach or go to the forest, whatever you, wherever you feel mm -hmm. more, uh, you know, your secure um, places. And really, and I've got an exercise if we get time to do it, otherwise I'll do it separately and post it on YouTube. But basically what you have to do is to really think about what you want, who, well, first of all, not even what you want, you have to go through, there's an exercise that I put up and it's with a picture of pink petals, but it's like a three hour exercise. How many of my uh, students and clients have taken it and they have shifted tremendously mm -hmm. because it's about seeing the relationships into, um, in a different aspect completely because we're all about seeing what's outside but we don't realize how we are impacting with other people and it shifts your perception completely and this is mm -hmm. just an excerpt from the book that I put it out into YouTube and it has shifted uh, people but it's really to do with a reconciliation about yourself mm -hmm. so I'm sorry if you're passionate about this but this this is going to be a roller coaster. It'll only get worse by next Thursday or Friday. It'll get really intense for a few days. So even though you can, you know, you think, oh, you've made it into the lifeboat. I hate to say it, the sharks are circling. So um, just know that if you start doing the work, and in a way, what happens with all of this is that people have to realize that they are um, trying, in a way, being forced and mm -hmm. again, the book is called Squeezing the Head. They're squeezing your head to stop making you think about other things and to make you think about, again, bottom line, who are you? What do you want? How are you going to be happy in this life for the yeah. rest of your life? Yeah. And it's a brilliant present, isn't it? It's amazing because people will come into your life uh, that you've had relationships with in the past. Uh, could be business, yeah. uh, uh, romance or whatnot, but it's really giving you a picture of what that was at that time, and then you can say, wait a sec, this is what I liked about that, this is what I didn't like about that, and you're kind of like really formulating, as you said, what do you really want, what's really going to make you happy, what's missing in your current career, what's missing in your current relationship, what's missing in your current uh, financial situation, whatever the case may be, if the universe just kind of orchestrates it so perfectly. Yep. And it's a mirror, isn't it? Yeah. It's, a, a, it's an interactive mirror. Mm -hmm. And that is what you have to realize. If you step into it and really, it's hard. A lot of people who did the exercise, um, that the, I'll call it the pedal exercise, but it isn't. But really, they have, it was brutal for them because mm -hmm. they had to be honest. But you know what? The freedom after going through that tunnel is incredible. And this is just for you, you know, it's, yeah. it's, that's all they are here for. It's not to kind of make us our life miserable or hell. It's to improve our lives to where we can mm -hmm. do anything and achieve everything. Yeah. So I totally agree with you. I wanted to ask you, we had that solar eclipse. We weren't able to see it on the East Coast, but uh, it was visible on the West Coast. I don't know if you had a chance to see it. But things like the solar eclipse, the movement of the planets, how are these influencing us right now? Okay, now we'll go. Um, that's a great question, Ron. You know, and I don't do astrology. My father, I'm not sorry, my voice is going in. But my father is actually third generation Eastern astrology, which is mm -hmm. different from Western. But, you know, and when you think about it, um, and this is true, uh, when the moon comes up, when there's a full moon, a lot of uh, hospitals and police forces actually put on more stuff because yeah. lunacy comes from lunar, the moon. And it's been proven that it does affect it. And when you think about it, how much of the planet is water, and it actually eclipses 
um, the, the planet does change its form very, very slightly because of the draw and the pull of the moon. And how much of, uh, are we a percentage of liquid? So, of course, it's going to influence. So, not only the moon, but when the planets did go on solar eclipse, there mm -hmm. were certain changes within ourselves that, again, it's triggering. All of this is not coincidental. It's helping to, it's as if from, um, I, I know, whoever's the guide is here is quite, being quite funny. It's like loading the pistol. Uh -huh. They're putting the, 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 the actual bullet in the gun now. And these are all the preparatory um, initiations in a way. So again, it's a, an eclipse. Uh, it was, even, even though very slightly, we had a more crescent moon, but we all were looking under the smoke only for a few minutes, a few seconds because it was in your eyes. But basic was quite awesome. And, um, you know, it's all to do, and all these planetary alignments, they're all obviously affecting us. The nearer the planet, the sun, and, you know, I put out a load on um, more YouTubes on the solar eclipse. Sorry, mm -hmm. not the solar eclipse, but the solar uh, flares and everything, because that's going to increase by next year. And um, so basically all of this is affecting us. But we have to realize that uh, you're, it's more on a physical level. So if it's on a physical level, obviously your mental aspects eventually will be affected, right? Yeah. The water and everything. So mm -hmm. again, um, I'll put out, if we get time towards the end, I can, I'll can. i do an exercise game. If we don't get time, because you know we're doing readings as well, mm -hmm. um, I'll definitely uh, post that mini exercise at the end of the, the day to kind of uh, get an, a better grasp on who you are and what you're doing, uh, that you can uh, change your world a bit, at least shift it. Uh, you can't change it completely. It's a step press process, I'm afraid. But yes, we are being influenced uh, big time from the solar eclipses and all these changes. I mean, uh, did you know on June, I believe, and please check my facts on this, but June 6th, that I believe, um, I think it's Venus, is going to be the, I think it's Venus, uh, one of the planets is going to be the closest it's been for a long, long time. So you, it's not any closest, it's actually going to um, ellipse. Uh, it's going mm -hmm. to be in front of the, uh, that's right, the sun. Okay. And you'll see a lot, it literally it will be in front of it and you'll see a dark mass there. So wow. if anybody's interested, I'll June find. June 6th, I'm going to write that down. June 6th, yeah, Venus. I'll, yeah, I'll try and post it on Facebook, my Facebook, and you can join it. And then um, it's literally, you'll be able to see it. Um, and, you know, obviously, even in the naked eye, but you will see it crossing the sun. Mm -hmm. the, wow. the sun. Um, so that's a very rare occurrence. And again, this is part of this uh, alignment. So on that day, I would not exactly hide, but quite frankly, just be aware mm -hmm. that, uh, and please let me know um, mm -hmm. if you start feeling a bit not right with yourself, as if you're... Um, uh, not quite in your body, uh, mm -hmm. as if you haven't really connecting thoughts, just like I'm trying to connect thoughts now, but basically it's just uh, your, your mental confusion, put it mm -hmm. that way, it's kind of a, a disruption in your um, thoughts, thought patterns. So let's see um, from you know the, the listeners now and whoever watches this on YouTube will let me know if they've been feeling all of these because I know on the Facebook that a lot of people have been doing the clarification phase. But you know, do your homework because what's following the clarification phase is enormous, and that is coming into where we are achieving mm -hmm. our dreams, and that's what the exercise is: is to find out what do you want in your future. And yeah. And, okay. Right. Very interesting, reminiscent of the Jim Henson film, The Dark Crystal, the great conjunction with the oh, planets yeah. all aligned. They've been playing that a lot lately. I've been catching that quite often. Darshini in spirit, darshini-inspirit.com to schedule a private session with Darshini. We will be giving free readings uh, and mediumship right after these messages. Hold tight.
invokes wisdom. Wisdom is knowledge in practice. Selective knowledge facilitates error. In spirit is truth. Darshini and Spirit will help you find the answers you seek. Darshini sees. Internationally renowned clairvoyant and spiritual guide Darshini has a refreshing... Welcome back. You are being with Ron Ash and Darshini in Spirit. Darshini-inspirit.com if you'd like to schedule a private session with Darshini or check out her events in the area, you may do so again at www.darshini-inspirit.com We are live and local, national and international on Great Stations Worldwide for a complete list of our affiliates and showtimes. Please visit mybtrn.com That's mybtrn.com 424-757-1425 That is our own number, so please write that down. We are taking calls and we have Sarah from Pennsylvania. Welcome to Being Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Dashini. Hey, Ron. Thank you for taking my call. I appreciate it. Very well. No problem. Thank you. Question to me. Um, I wanted to have a question that's surrounding um, my present position. Um, anything you were picking up also and involved in that in my career. Um, okay. I'm with a company, you know, not a year, but close to a year. Uh, it was a nice transition, you know, from a nice position. Um, so I just, you know, wanted to see what, what you were picking up you know, for me. Okay. Well, it seems that you are uh, pretty impatient. Um, I mean, it's a good impatience. You you really have a drive to uh, not only succeed, but to move on. Is that true? Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, and move on as far as I'm not sure. In other words, in, in other words don't stay stagnant. If you want a better position that you're not just settling for where you are now. So you really do have a drive to be always um, striving for more, uh, trying to get more information, not even a, a better position, but really um, a fulfillment. Does that make sense to you? Correct. Yeah, okay. something like that, yes. Yeah. Yeah, money would, wouldn't be bad as well, obviously. Well, but, yeah, I mean, but, you know, yeah. some, sometimes yes. you got to take what you get without being too demanding, so you got to be really humble. Um, well, the thing is, I think you're um, sometimes selling yourself short, where um, I do believe that has there been um, at least your intuition or stirrings mm -hmm. within your uh, company that you might be being looked at for a uh, promotion? I'm not. I missed something. There was a there was a problem with the communication. The phone line. I couldn't okay. hear what you said. All right. Is there something? Um, have you been more or less either feeling it intuitionally or heard a little uh, pieces of gossip where they may be looking at you to either in, um, put more responsibility on your position or actually uh, give you a promotion of some kind? I mean, like I said, I haven't heard anything directly, you know, uh, from the boss. Not directly, no. Right, directly. I haven't like, really, right, I haven't heard anything. I mean, I've just seen that some of the things I used to do, they had a, a moved a new person because it's kind of weird, like two companies in one where I work. So this, she was moved up, she was upstairs, and now she's with us downstairs. And I've noticed that gradually some of the things I used to do are being given to her. And, you know, I didn't make, I try to, you know, ask the project manager, but he's like, you know, whoever is available can do it first. And he really doesn't say much. And lately he has been treating me in a, in a different manner. Um, yeah, I, okay. I try not to take it too personally and I try not to yeah. let it get to me. But, yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but uh, kind of derogatory. But, uh, quite frankly, he's just uh, he's trying to protect himself. This uh, right. his job is not anything like. I, I really believe in the last seven months that there's been a shake up within the company anyway. So there have been movements. Now, if you start getting paranoid, you're actually exhibiting those um, outside. So you need to really hunker down and do the best you can. But it doesn't mean to say that you shouldn't. That you also look outside the job as well for other things. Um, always be prepared. You really have a huge multitude of talents that I see, but you need to realize that do your resume, look outside, and don't, you're letting, in a way, circumstances uh, rule you and dictate. Do you understand? I get what? That 
things, your circumstances are trying to, you're kind of letting them rule you, influence you, you understand? You mean the the team I work with or the... No, 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 no. You, you I, I think it she means how you're how these things are making you feel and you're kind of oh, playing okay. into it. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Thanks, Rob. So basically, you need to realize that you need to be independent of that because if you are being pursued by a lie, you start having fear. Fear exhibits and will be known. Um, you'll be actually showing that. You understand. So you are exhibiting that kind of fear of losing your job. Um, so you need to realize you need to be independent. Go do your resume and start putting down things that you have actually um, handled well, and that will empower you. But I do see around about November you are looking at another job. So I'll only give you that and uh, realize that you re this is a huge lesson for you to be independent of mm. other people's situations. Do you understand? All right. Thanks for the call, Good Sarah. Uh, Angela from Oklahoma. Okay. Hi. Hello. Yeah? Hi. This is Angela. Um, I was calling okay. about relationship uh, issues. Okay. Uh, I have a quandary, so. I'm sorry? I, I have a situation where I, I have two options. Okay. Um, are you sure it's not three? Are there three people around you? Well, I, I don't really consider the other one. But yeah, I know. Well, they're more interested in you than the other way around. But anyway, I'm seeing oh. three. So um, basically, uh, you haven't been in this. Uh, good position, but that you don't know. One exhibits a certain personality trait that you really enjoy. The other one's more attractive. Is that so? Is that true? That's true. That's true. Okay. All right. So you don't know. You're kind of deselecting which one. But you know, and it's really to do with uh, neither of them are really forcing you for a long-term relationship or a permanent relationship. Isn't that correct? Oh, well, one was wanting to marry me this week, but he's my ex yeah, but, once I came back in town. But I don't know how yeah. serious he is. He's yeah, but that, serious, that, but. I really think he's using that as leverage to try and push out the other person. And that's really, you know, when we put pressure and they, they think that's going to actually win you, um, that, uh, that person tends to lose interest once you are... Uh, you don't have any other people around you, any other guys. Isn't that true? I'd say so. I would say so. Yeah. So really, so. this is like a huge lesson for you to decide where, you know, you have to decide, really, look into the future. Do you see yourself with this guy, the ex fiance and why was it that you parted anyway initially, too? Have you, are you just going back to him for closure and that's why you're together? Well, and he flew up here to see me and I, I, I used to be at the top of his list and I started sliding down until I completely slid off his list. And I can't have that. I won't have that. Well, that sounds horrible. You know, I have to be honest. <laughs> I'm horrible. I mean, if they, you know, if that's, again, in a way you are associated with, the, say, the previous caller, where you have to realize that you are independent, and it's not their decisions, it's your decision. And this is the oh, decision for the rest of your life. And you know this, you're a very smart woman, but you get very confused emotionally when this is on your doorstep. Quite frankly, he's trying to claim you because he he is very, very egotistical, this guy. He is, this is true. Yeah. And um, therefore, if one of his minions decides to wander off the, out of the flock, he needs to lasso you back in. And this is his little um, carrot, and carrot, sorry for the pun, on the, you know, with the wig. So basically... Um, it's a nice thing, though. <laughs> yeah, doesn't it? I mean, really. Um, you know, you're not a donkey. You're, you're a beautiful woman, and he's just I trying know. to rope you in. And uh, quite frankly, you know, once you're secure, you'll lose interest. And I, I don't I think you're right. that much. You 
know you know your own intuition tells you that. So I would just uh, lead him on and go and have a good time and see what comes out. Uh, I'm not going to tell you. It's your, it's your life. We cannot tell you what to do. We can guide you. But quite frankly, enjoy eating the carrots. But, you know, you've got a lot of other um, flocks out there that you can wander to. You don't need to be the, um, you know, last food in. Okay? Okay. You'll, you'll be fine. Within three months, you'll be um, really loving the situation where it, the, the, uh, re re the roles are reversed. So um, you're finding your power because you were, in a way, humiliated and you were pretty darn angry, weren't you? Oh, oh, beyond angry. I threatened. I blacked yeah. out. I've, oh, I yeah, was. Do you really want to go into that position again? And that oh. is what you have to ask yourself, that you lost your power and you're getting it back and it's making you feel, excuse my uh, language here, but in England it's nothing, damn good about yourself. And yeah. you know what? Enjoy it. But the thing is, is this, could this guy coming back in your life be there for closure? And for you to get your pay power back, but don't give it back out, because that's what he's there. He's like a wolf at the door, and you're the sheep, and that's what he expects all women to be. You don't, he doesn't check, he's not going to change, come on, be honest. No, I know he's not going to change, I don't expect him to change. I just yeah. I might be able to manipulate him a little bit better. You say you don't expect him, but we all do. We hope that he, they do well, because they're no, the door to and treat. being able to manipulate them are two different things in my mind. Yeah. Well, uh, you'll see uh, within the next two weeks, he, he'll show his little spots again, I assure you. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay, well, thank well. you. I appreciate it. Enjoy the yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate You're it. Well. All right. Uh, Let's take a quick break. We'll be back with more Darshini in spirit right after these messages. Uh, if you'd like to schedule a private session with Darshini, you can do so at darshini-inspirit.com. That's darshini-inspirit.com. We'll be back with more right after these messages. Hold it. It is knowledge in practice. Selective knowledge facilitates error. In spirit is truth. Darshini and Spirit will help you find the answers you seek. Darshini Sees. Internationally renowned clairvoyant and spiritual guide Darshini has a refreshingly honest and candid style that contributes greatly to her ability to counsel, heal, and guide. Motivational speaker, author, teacher. Experience Darshini and Spirit at 714-348-9994. Visit darshini-inspirit.com. Two five Dawn from New York City joining us. Must be a beautiful day in New York City. Hi. Hello. Hi, Dawn. It is a beautiful day. It's rather hot, so that is beautiful, right? I <laughs> guess yes, so. It is. <laughs> um, here in California. Anyway, go oh, ahead. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I just had a question about like what's coming up. I just graduated and I'm trying to get a modeling career off the ground and I just don't know what to do. What, I mean, what's gonna happen? I, like, I don't know. Okay, well Dawn, um, I see that you're very nervous. Um, you're usually very confident, but it's as if you've been in a way dropped in cold water. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So uh, you're very confident about who you are and what you want, but you're a bit lost with everything, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. And um, you have been told a lot, but in a way, sometimes you feel as if you've been led down the garden path um, and given false hopes uh, with a yeah. few people. But really, it's to do with... Um, now, I'm going to ask you something. Uh, please don't get offended, but do okay. you have a backup plan? In other words, is this the only thing you have um, that you want to do? Well, I do have a backup. I just um, graduated with a master's and um, to be a therapist, so I do have a backup. Good. Uh, yeah. But I know this is, uh, it's as if that will come eventually, and which is very good because I see that you um, you know, I don't, Ron knows I don't give compliments, but you have, um, you've been given, you have proved that you've got a high IQ. Isn't that correct? Yes, yes, yes. But there's something driving you to go, and obviously, you know, you're, you're quite beautiful, but there's something that you want to use, and this is what I'm seeing, 
that you want to use your modeling career to as an end product for something else down the road. Yes, yes, that's, that's what I've been trying to tell everyone. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I know. Yes. And they don't believe you. I know. But it's okay. It's something very, very close to your heart, and you do want to change the earth and, um, you know, really have far more fulfillment. But it's also where the time you have, where you are now, is. Uh, I hate to say it, the cold shower where you are standing at the moment is because they want you to really um, not make a decision. You've already made that decision because you know that this instinctually is where you uh, you know you're going to achieve your dreams. But it's going to be a hard road. I don't mess around. Ron knows that I'm brutal. That you, It is going to be pretty hard. And that means really... Um, you know, uh, hoofing it, as we call it in England, really walking um, at, from model agency to model agency. I know that you've got your portfolio more or less done. Is that yes. right? Yes. But you need to do a few more, at least two more professional shots, but not uh, as if to say, in a way, this captures the innocence of you because you look very, very young. Um, but you, they haven't given you any shots where your sophistication is showing through, where there is a at least a hint, you know. Um, is that true? Yes, yes. And I um, was just told by an agency yesterday they like my pictures, they but they want like they want me to take more pictures, like what, what you're saying, so to take me to the next right. level, like. Yeah, and you, you're really at a, a medium level there where they, you could, they could use you for certain uh, shoots, but they want it far more on a, um, because you've got fabulous skin that I see, and your eyes are quite, um, you know, a very en enigmatic, but you need to get the sophistication in, okay? Now, it's going to be hard, you have to be patient, and you have been, you, you know, to, to achieve a master's is, um, quite a, an incredible feat anyway. Not that you really worked that hard, I see, because it came quite naturally to you. But um, basically, you need to, to know that within three months, you need to really get out there, and you're going to learn a lot. Um, I would really advise you to go and get a... Um, uh, one, go and do that exercise. I don't know, listen to the earlier show, part of the show regarding the petal exercise on the YouTube because that will change your perceptions on how people see you as well as you see other people, all right? It will give you a far better insight as to where you need to be at the right time. And also, keep a journal, very private, don't take it to shoes because you might leave it there. But really how, what each one, remember, when you're in, being interviewed, you are interviewing them. And you have power when you have that perception you're interviewing them. You understand? Yes. And put down what your takeaway is from each interview, uh, like yesterday, and how you felt and what you need. Don't get obsessive because you tend to get obsessive about things. So don't go into kissing the tree instead of seeing the forest, you understand? And you'll see this huge um, change, and it, it is to do with this, what I call the clarification period, again, on the YouTube, that you are changing that you have to be in the right mode. You're going to be, and I am allowed to tell you, which um, I'm surprised, that you're going to be a very powerful uh, individual. All right? Oh, but, me? Wow. But, but, but if okay. you don't get um, seduced and caught into, I hate to say, the drugs, and yes. also the false, um, at, you know, false uh, perceptions out there of, you know, your beauty is everything and you rely on that. So don't go into ego. That is going to be the, that'll be it. You will let go of a lot of dreams and lose everything. And I know you're a pretty incredibly strong um, individual. You've been through a hard life, right? Yes. Yes. That's why I just want to break. Yes. I know. Don't yes. worry. That it was because of that you, you have the drive. Do not lose where you came from, okay? okay so you've been okay. pretty much blessed. There's a lot of lessons on the YouTube that I have. You can go either to the website or whatever, but you okay. will see that a lot of things that you, you've been there for a reason, okay? I truly wish you luck on that. You, you've got a Thank lot to do. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh. Okay, good luck. All right, Dawn. Thanks for uh, 
listening and calling in. Okay, let's go to Lori in Texas. What part of Texas are you call from, Lori? Yes, hi. Hi, Ronnie Ash, and hi, Darshini. It's such a pleasure to talk with you. Thank you for inviting me from Facebook. I'm from um, Granbury, Texas, which is near Fort Worth, Dallas area. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh. Yeah. What can we do for you today? Well, I just found out about you, and so I'm so glad that I wanted to find out. I'm currently married with a 12-year-old son, and I feel for several years now that I ha I can't be true to myself in this relationship. I just started being a, I just became a writer within the last three or four years. It just flowed through me. I wrote my first screenplay about Atlantis and um, the untold story, and my husband has never supported me, and I don't well, feel I can give this, give this up. Okay. So I'm looking for the courage to do this. To do okay. Well, so the thing is, the courage is just the confirmation. It's not courage here. You're I'm a very, very strong individual. You knew this four years ago that you felt this, the relationship wasn't supporting you. It's as if he's in competition with your uh, natural aptitudes and your, uh, your yearning for not success, it's for fulfillment within yourself, correct? Yes. And, yes, and being a service to the, to uh, being a light worker, Google. being a service. Yes. Um, but bring my it, knowledge. Exactly. But uh, not only bring it, but to really understand, too. It's as if it's a, a duality. Precise. Yes. Um, and first of all, quickly, just to let you know, it was Venus, by the way. And okay. it's going to uh, go into transit on June 5th to the 6th. And that's quite an awesome thing. Uh, quickly, before the exercise, is also... Oh, we've got uh, one minute. But basically... No, we have, we have a couple of minutes. Oh, okay. But also, Ron, you need to do your book if you haven't started. There's a next session. Does that make sense to you? Uh, okay. No. <laughs> okay. Hopefully that does. Um, that came in loud. Okay, here it is. Now, what I'd like you to do is to, um, and this is what this exercise should do for you, and you have to be honest with yourself. There's no cheating. Um, it's ridiculous if you want to just play games with your own self, okay, to be the reward. Um, so I would prefer you wait at least 24 hours before you do this uh, on the, uh, to go ahead with the final exercise to finish this process, okay? So it's called the boost. And I want you to make a list of everything you wish to, A, obtain in your life, well, all right, B, achieve in your life, C, get in your life, all right? And there's, these are, you may think it's the same, but it isn't. So it's obtain, achieve, okay. and get, okay? Next one, who, what type of friends would you like in your life? And don't get too detailed, all right? They don't look for that. It's really the perception of true friends. I mean, it, you know the words you want to use. You may not like what you eventually draw, by the way, mm -hmm. all right? So um, there's that. Then the next one, on a physical aspect, what do you wish for yourself? On a mental aspect, what do you wish for yourself? On a spiritual realm, what do you really want to realize? Not only for yourself, but maybe for the world. You don't need to do it for the world, but it's, it's there. You, if that is your mission, put it in. On financial aspects, which a lot of people are worrying about, what do you wish for yourself? On the field of career and business, what do you want to have created here? Be open. First list your likes, your dislikes, opposite ends of the spectrum, gifts, skills, which are totally different, gifts, so things that like I'm reading, and skills are earned skills through school, etc. or life, mm -hmm. then write them down what you wish, okay? So, in other words, really separate these categories. And what even likes in the way of, okay, I'll do it, but I don't really, you know, that's not one of my real likes to do, all right? Then what, was after, what was after physical? The physical was mental aspect, and okay. I'm posting all of this Physical, on Physical, mental, spiritual, and financial. Career yes, and, business. and then career and business. Okay. And this is all going to be posted on YouTube, okay? Regarding right. relationships, now this is a biggie. 
list each one and ask yourself, what is the best you, you can you see? Not you, oh, how can I say this? But what you can do with your relationships in your life, but hope for, all right? Not see or wish for, but hope for on each level of any of these relationships. And it could be work, family, whatever. And the last one, the current situations that you're in, what do you see? What, put, put down the best possible outcome that you can get achieved from these situations. And it's really, it's not in summary. If you get the more details you can get, the better you can um, achieve the results of clarification. Okay. okay. All right. So and uh, we'll uh, post that link to the YouTube at mybtrn.com. As soon as you have that up, let me know, and I'll make sure we put it on the, uh, on the web page. In regards to my book, you're absolutely right. I uh I have the blue line in hand. I just have to continue to go over it for that last uh, and final edit and uh, then uh, put it out there. But I have been kind of sleeping on it this week. <laughs> well, they're, they're really pushing it because they came in just before we started the readings, and I wanted to get in there, and they said, you better go and tell them. Okay, so uh, darshini-inspirit.com if you'd like to set up a, a private session with Darshini and uh, uh, keep up with her event. She's on Facebook now, so you can uh, look her up on Facebook, Darshini, and uh, Space in Spirit, all one word, on Facebook. Um, so we'll see you tomorrow night on Saturday 